Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Archer, say hi. Hmm. Um, we're here at the doctor, so Archer and Anae are going to see the doctor today. Are you ready? No, you're not ready to see the doctor? Yes, you are? No? Yes? No? Yes? <laughs> no. Anyway, but yeah, we're going to head inside and we're going to see the doctor today. the same. <laughs> Don't need the camera. We're just waiting for the doctor. Okay, so we're back home from the doctor and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, like I promised yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I edit my pregnancy photo, like weekly pregnancy photo pictures with like all the, the words and cute stuff on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you guys how I do that. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this because I don't know how to do it where you you film just the screen. I'm not sure how to do that, so I'm just gonna film my laptop screen. So hopefully there's not too many glares and you guys can see what's going on, but I just go to pickmonkey.com and then I click right here where it says edit. And then I go get the picture, which I have it saved, which will be this photo right here. You just go ahead and open it up. It doesn't take forever, okay. So there's the picture and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here on the left hand side and I'm going to click crop and I'm going to crop, I usually like to do it kind of close to my elbow and I like to make it like a square because I mostly do this for Instagram so I make it like a square um, and then I just click apply and then it, it cropped the photo and I like to have like a nice background which is why I do it up against the fence because it's like a wood background and then again I go over here on the left hand side and I go to the butterfly all the way over here on the left hand side yeah and then I go to doodly accents I click that and then th this is where I get my circles from and I just click this circle that's right here because I just like the way this one looks so I'm gonna make my circle you can make it however big however small you want and then over here you can change the color right now it's black on the right hand side you can change the color you just go over and I usually just make it white because it just pops a little bit better and then I go to the letter T that's over here which is the font for my number I go ahead and click sketch block so you click the one that you want and then you click up here at the top up here I don't know if you guys I think I'm gonna use my finger to point because you can't really see the mouse click add text click it and this one is my nine weeks, so I put the number nine. And then you go over here on this side to change the color. So I'm putting it white. Usually before I start doing any of this, I actually edit the photo, which I forgot to do. It doesn't matter if you already started doing this or not. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and edit the photo. When you go to the very, very top, it says auto adjust. I usually try to click that first and see if I like it. If I like it, I'll keep it which I kind of do like it because it brightened it up. Now I can go to the magic wand and I usually go to where it, down to where it says boost. I'll click the boost. Sometimes it makes it crazy boosted, <laughs> but over here it has like an option where you can like lighten up the strength or make it drastic or you can just make it like slight, which I usually just do like kind of like a slight just to give it a little bit of warm color. So back here at the letter T, which is the font. Now I need to put the word weeks right here next to the number nine and I use the mountains of Christmas font for that so I click that click add text and then I do this with, in all caps and then of course I make it white there's a little ball here at the top right above the word that you can click to kind of to turn the word which is what I do to turn it sideways so I put the word weeks and then next is gonna be the word baby and I use the font school bell and I do baby in all caps too and I make baby kind of big and then also I make it white as well next I use Sue Ellen Francisco right down here is the size of a okay so I put is the size of a and of course I make that white as well and then I make this one a little bit smaller obviously and then for whatever the baby is the size of that week like this one is wild strawberry and this week it's uh, southern pecan is 
what the babies like like a little pecan nut and I use Bilbo swash caps and I usually make those a little bit bigger as well and I put it down here at the bottom and I make it white also try to make it in an area where you can maybe read it a little bit better so now what I do to get the picture of whatever the fruit or whatever the size the baby is that week um, I go to Google and I type in whatever it is plus the letters P and G and I find one that looks nice that I like you can see the, that checker in the back right there that means that it is like the thing is cut out so that way whenever you use the picture it won't have like a white square around it it will be cut out like I said I already had saved this one onto my computer so what you do now is you go to the butterfly over here on the left hand side again the butterfly and you go over here to at the top where it says add your own so I'm gonna click add my own click my computer and then you go well it already came to the exact folder so you click on the picture click open and see how it doesn't have like the white square around it see how it's like cut out that's what the PNG is and then I size it to the size that I want and I put it right there and last what I last thing what I do is I put the date so I go back to font and I click the Antonio font and I click add text and then I put the date that I turned nine weeks which was February the 11th and then again I make this one white and I actually put this one in the bottom corner so that way I know the date so yeah, I normally put it down here in the bottom corner and I have it up and down like that. So there you go. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me see if I can show you. This is what it looks like. All finished. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and leave them in the comments down below. Oh, I got this for Archer. For Valentine's Day and the inside just has some M&Ms so it's a cute little mailbox he actually picked this out so isn't that cute like a little middle mailbox so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him Archer let's see what's inside What is that? Take it out. Let's see. Oh, are those Valentine M and M's? Yep. Just for Archer. Here goes Daddy. Hi. Daddy shaved his beard, by the way, guys. <laughs> he looks naked. <gasps> <gasps> You're so funny, Daddy. Ooh, you got some. Sister's like, I want some. You can't have any, baby. You can't have any. No, 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 Archer. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know, you're doing really good. Thank you for sharing. But sister can't have any, okay? She doesn't know how to eat yet. I don't want her to choke. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. And <laughs> she fell. And she fell. She's trying to get up over there. My little girl. Oh, she's so tired. Yes, I can hold it for you. And you get the best price for Unlimited. I'm the new spring turn. Spring twice. Spring turn. Yeah. Clever, right? Welcome to Burger King. Burger King with six mix or match deal. Now including crispy chicken. This is one. You can purchase this. No. Two crispy chicken sandwiches or mix one of each for just six dollars. Have it a boy. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, uh, my nose, my nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.